So my understanding is one of the biggest costs of training a large language model is the processing time that you have to run on these, again, very expensive uh, GPUs typically made by NVIDIA. So what DeepSeek has done is uh, very clever engineering is probably the best way to describe it. So I'll use just a very quick example. So the standard uh, for training a large language model is to use 32 bits, or you can think of it as 32 numbers, which takes up a, a reasonable amount of space. And when you multiply this by millions, billions, maybe trillions of calculations, um, you know, this takes quite a lot of computing power and computing time. So one of the things DeepSeek did was they said, look, what if we could achieve roughly the same results only using eight bits? Um, and that's one of the things they did that sort of amazed the technical world. The other point I think it's important to mention too is the team that built DeepSeek is entirely uh, educated in China. So again, this challenge is I think another uh, article of faith, right? That you need to have uh, Western educated technical people to make big breakthroughs. And this shows that uh, this is not the case. And finally, I think what uh, DeepSeek has done is that it has challenged uh, the prevailing economic model globally in that it not only has achieved uh, comparable performance to uh, OpenAI's ChatGPT, but it has made it open source. And what this means is that anyone anywhere around the world can modify the code, improve it. So this has uh, profound ramifications for the future speed of development. But it also is likely to empower those in the global south for whom uh, cost is a very real barrier. And I think what this also shows is that Deep Seek is an example of China's vision to provide key global uh, public goods.